computer scientists spend an awful lot of their time problem solving. And in fact, the ability to solve problems quickly and effectively is one of the key skills that a computer scientist needs to possess. Now in our subject, we've been at this for well over 40 years. And that time we've learned some very interesting and very, very nice techniques for solving problems. And what's nice about these is they apply not just to computer science and computer programming, but these techniques can be used in many different domains and many different walks of life. Now you're probably wondering, what sort of problems am I talking about? Well, let's give you a nice little example. Okay, suppose we have these 10 black and white discs and you'll observe that on one side they're black, on the other they're white. And we know initially that four of them are black. Now the challenge here is to divide these into two groups. The groups don't have to have the same number of discs, but each group must have exactly the same number of black discs. Now, you are allowed to move things around the place, this, you are allowed to change discs, flip them like that. So how do we solve the problem? Well, you're probably sitting there laughing, because obviously I can do this and do this. So now we have two groups, this is two black, this is two black. Another way I could have done it, I could have turned them all into white. Then this is one group and this is another group. So you see the challenge is to separate them, to make two groups and to ensure that the same number of black are in each group. That was remarkably easy, wasn't it? In fact, you're probably sitting there thinking that wasn't a problem at all. Let's make it a little bit more challenging. Could you do the same with your eyes closed? 